An Arizona Senate nominee, Carrie Lake, after winning her state's Republican primary last week, beating out Penal County Sheriff Mark Lamb, she now takes on Democratic challenger Arizona Congressman Ruben Gallego in the fight for that crucial Senate seat. It could tip the balance of power there in the Senate. Republican Arizona Senate nominee, Carrie Lake, joins me now. Uh, great to see you. I was there at your uh, celebratory watch party uh, when you were named the, the Senate candidate here for the GOP in Arizona. Uh, this is an exciting week for you. Lots of support there, including President Trump. You talked about him in your acceptance speech, saying that he's been loyal, he's been a great friend, gave you lots of advice. Uh, what's next here for the next three, three months leading up to the election day? Well, we're, we're going to continue doing what we have been doing since I stepped into this race back in October. We have been hyper-focused on Ruben Gallego, the most radical liberal Democrat to ever run uh, for any office in this country. He's trying to now moderate himself, but the uh, problem for him is he's got a very long voting record, 10 years in Congress that has been absolutely disastrous. He's voted with Biden and Kamala 100 percent of the time. He supported the open border, sanctuary cities. He marched and defund the police rallies. This man is truly radical, so we're going to keep focusing on his record, how it doesn't work for Arizona, and how the America First agenda does work for all Arizonans, whether they're Democrat, independent, or Republican. You just showed the border um, a little bit ago. You were talking about the border and, and how bad Kamala Harris, the border czar, has been mm -hmm. on the border. You know, we're right here at ground zero, wide open border, hundreds of thousands of people coming in every month, fentanyl pouring through our state and going to all the other states, killing a young generation. And under President Trump, we didn't have any of those problems. So we want to get back to those type of policies. I'm going to help President Trump do that. You also had J.D. Vance uh, in your state this week. He went right down to Cochise County. County there. He was right on the border where Trump's border wall actually ends. I was shocked to see the, the amount of steel that's still sitting there that was never put up uh, in place. I mean, you can see right where it ends. Uh, but this is what J.D. Vance had to say about the border and Arizona. Watch. Every time I ask these guys, and I even, I even asked, you know, Brandon, Paul, let's play devil's advocate here. Tell me, has Kamala Harris done anything you've asked her to do? She is the border czar. Has your border czar done anything you've asked her to do? And the answer is no. They send letters. They make phone calls. They are begging the American president and vice president for leadership, and their own border czar ignores them. That is a scandal. That is a disgrace. That was one thing that I, I could not believe, is that the, the lack of communication between all the different levels there that are supposed to be in charge of the border and the fact that it's falling on deaf ears with Kamala Harris. Your thoughts on this? I know this is something that you're running on. This is your part, part of your campaign. Uh, tell us just how bad is it in Arizona at the border? Oh, I've been running on this since I ran for governor and, and recognized this is the biggest problem in our country. And this is before things were uh, as bad as they are now. You know, they actually are involved. I, I agree with, with uh, Senator Vance, but I also disagree with him. They are actually communicating. They are involved, but they're saying, bring them on in. We want more people. This is all a part of their plan. So to to uh, you know say that they haven't done anything, they're actually doing something. But their plan is to have an invasion on our border, bring in millions of people. The taxpayer has to foot the bill, even though the American taxpayers are at wit's end and their backs are breaking under the pressure of a terrible economy. But they want these people in. They want to register them to vote. And they want to completely change forever this country. And that's why we're fighting so hard against it. You mentioned all of the, um, the, the materials on the, bo uh, the border wall materials that are just laying on the desert floor. You know, President Trump bought those. And we were just within weeks or maybe a couple of months of finishing the wall in Arizona, could, at least the part that had been planned. Mm -hmm. And Joe Biden sold that $300 million worth of border material for pennies on the dollar. And Ruben Gallego, my opponent, mm -hmm. signed off on all of that. And so we've got to realize the Democrat policies are destructive and devastating to everyday average Americans. And we have to uh, make a big turnaround come November 5th. I, I want to get to this, too. Republicans in your state, there's now a nearly 260,000 person advantage among registered uh, r voters in your state. Are, are you seeing that red shift? Being there this past week, I really got a sense that that state is going to go red based on just talking to people and how fed up they are with some of the policies that Ruben Gallego has, he, he's approved. 
Well, I've, I've always felt that Arizona is a is a solidly Republican state, very common sense uh, people living here. You know, the Democrats try to send a false narrative saying that we're becoming a blue state. I don't believe that. I even believe that the Californians moving in are much more middle of the road or conservative minded, and they've actually uprooted their lives in California because of destructive policies over there and moved into Arizona for some common sense. So yes, we're working very hard to register voters. I just met a voter yesterday, a really great young man. He said, I voted, he, he admitted that he voted for Joe Biden. He said, I'm so ashamed of the fact that I voted for him. But he said, Carrie, I was brainwashed by the media. And I only recently woke up and realized that all of the lies they told. And now I'm trying to wake up my friends and other family members. So every day people are waking up to the lies and the false narrative of the media. And when they do, they're not just walking away from the Democrat Party, they're running away. And they're voting for common sense America first folks. I always say, John, this is called America first. It's not Republicans first. We're mm. putting the people of this country first. And that means if you're a Democrat, an independent or a Republican, your life will be better when we get back to those Trump economic policies, those Trump um, energy policies, the Trump foreign policy, and we get back to some national security and safe and secure streets as well. Well, good luck. I know you're going to do very well here come November. You've got all the support there uh, from all those different people that were at your uh, acceptance party there. I know they all support you. Arizona Republican Senate nominee, Carrie Lake. Thank you so much for doing this. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.